tell y'all a story about the day my mama went to buy some eggs. And this guy come up to her with a huge pot belly and little skinny legs. And he showed her a petition to require that we all must carry guns. Saying we'd all be much safer knowing everybody out there has got one. Well, my mama said, I'm interested, but I, I'd really like to think this matter through. Is there any place that I can go to meet some other groovy folks like you? And he said, for sure, we're meeting at the Eagles Hall in just a couple days. Come on by and have some coffee with the Folsom County NRA. Well, she took me there and after we had finished a delicious chicken lunch, jumped up and said I'd like to address this very lovely patriotic bunch and if I live 90 years I won't forget a drop of what she had to say the day my mama socked it to the Folsom County NRA well there's Bobby Crutcher sitting there his nephew was gunned down in Columbine and Gimpy Grayson shot himself while cleaning his gun a second or third time. And Cooter Bemis leaning with his arms crossed over there against the wall. His niece was blown away last year at a shooting in a Tucson shopping mall. And Jordy's back from prison for that road rage shootout on I-95. And after Becky tried to shoot that burglar, it's a miracle she's still alive. But what do I know? I was just a sniper in the first Gulf War in 93. But I think you're just a bunch of Folsom Keystone Cop Militia wannabes. Then my mama opened up her purse and pulled out an old Browning 45. She said, y'all put your hands up in the air and look this mama bear between the eyes. And if you think guns are meant for something other than filling people full of holes. Well, think about this, suckers. Goodbye, Sayonara, and God rest your souls. Well, I miss my mama, but we don't see quite so many guns around here today. Since my mama socked it to the Folsom County NRA Yeah, since my mama socked it to the Folsom County NRA